Uh, hello everybody welcome back to the channel now this past couple of weeks i've been in talks with a lot of people who have reached out to me you know on linkedin and on youtube and i've been trying to give them uh, as much like career advice as i possibly can and uh, i thought it would be a nice change to like talk about something different than ai security which i you know it's like one of my passions and i talk about it quite a bit but today i want to talk about something like certain cyber security truths i wish i knew when i was starting out in my career and if I had known them, I would have no, not have made certain mistakes which I made in my career, you know, certain areas I focused on, which I wish I hadn't and certain areas I did not focus on, which I wish I had. And that would have like uh, uh, saved me a lot of problems, let's say, in my career. So I thought, why not focus on them and give back to the people who are watching me? like uh, uh, certain truths you should know if you are in cyber security and i sincerely hope this helps you in your career also if you are new to the channel my name is tamurish lal i'm a senior security consultant with amazon web services here in the uk and i made this channel basically to talk about cloud security ai security and uh, give cyber security career advice so please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found it useful and let's get started uh, okay, so first of all, I do want to mention that I made a video around 20 years in cyber security, best career advice. I, if you haven't checked out that video, I would definitely recommend watching that. Also, I'll put the link to that video in the comment section. So do check that out because uh, it would be better you watch that video before you go here. But it's up to you. So what am I talking about? Now, the cyber security truths that nobody told me until it was too late. I, there are certain things which I found out after like many years in the industry and i wish i knew them right when i was starting or even when i had gained a lot of experience but some things come with a particular time and this is the first one which i have repeated many many times but unfortunately i still see people over focusing on this which is certifications do not replace projects you know if you have like if you have the cssp the cism the ccsp over ceh whatever but if you do not have any hands-on experience to back it up Believe me, you are no different from like thousands and thousands of other people who are also applying for the same job. Certifications prove that you have a baseline, but a hiring manager is hiring you because they have a problem to solve, right? They want to get like uh, people who can do certain things like risk assessments or penetration testing or VA or cloud security. And the proof of that will only come with your hands-on projects, right? Like build something, securing a cloud environment, creating a threat model, documenting it and sharing it on platforms like LinkedIn, like YouTube, TikTok, Medium, whatever, whatever platform you like, share it. That is what will make you stand out, not just doing certification after certification after certification, you know? Unfortunately, I still see people making this mistake. I have made many videos, you know, on projects, like if you like AI security, what are the projects I recommend uh, you should do or even cloud security if you don't have any job right now and you're over focusing on certifications what are the what do you call projects you can do I, i'll put the links for both of these videos within the comment section you can check that out but please like i said the the summary i want you to take is do not over focus on certifications to the extent that you ignore hands-on projects that is the first thing i want to tell you about now the second thing and i i've seen a lot of people being frustrated about this which is I want you to realize this, that the numbers of the years of experience that you have in cybersecurity, that does not equal the amount of impact you have. If you are just doing the same thing, like the same thing every year, every year, you are just simply blindly following a process, right? I have, like I said, I've written here, I have met people with just two years experience in the industry. They have made more impact than people who have been in industry for decades. You know why? Because those people were simply the people with like two decades in the industry. They were just blindly following a particular process. Whatever the company was doing, they were doing. The people with two years impact, they came in and they saw, they stepped out of the box. They looked at a particular problem which the company was having and then they solved it. They improved the security posture, right? They fixed broken processes and they made life easier for their team. So instead of thinking about tenure, think about the impact. I People think that because I've been in this job for 20 years, that automatically gives me a lot of like uh, authority and power no it, it if you're in a particular company the impact it will beat the tenure every time and that is what will make you stand out in front of management believe me if you're just doing the same thing same thing people will take you for granted the impact will always beat the tenure i want you to remember this right number three which is 
uh, chasing job titles will make you miserable in the long run. And I am guilty of this. I used to think if I got the CISO position, I will be like a like immediately I will be successful. And that is not true. If you're not happy in your job, just chasing a title will not automatically make the cybersecurity job better, right? If you're not happy in the work you are doing, getting like a head of cybersecurity or head of SOC will not make the job suddenly more fulfilling. So you should focus on where you can learn, grow and contribute. If you like penetration testing, something like that, do not chase a job title, chase the work. And believe me when I say if you make the impact, like I talked earlier, the job titles will come automatically or you will be earning so much money that the job title is meaningless. If you, I have known people who are like freelance consultants, they are earning much more than what CISOs earn in the industry. You know why? Because they made the impact and they are passionate about their jobs. So again, this is something I really want you to focus on. Number four, and this is something definitely which I was guilty of at the start and I did not focus on this enough which is I did not focus on learning com learning how to communicate, you know, focusing on my communication skills. I have said this many, many be times before. Communication is the, like the multiplier skill. If you know how to communicate, it will make you stand apart from like thousands and thousands of other people, you know. How many people do I know? They are technically so sound. They are like geniuses when it comes to being technical and they are absolutely horrible when it comes to communicating these things, right? Be can you like explain a complex risk to a non-technical executive in plain English, you know, that is, that will um, be much more valuable than any multi-billion dollar niche tool. You know why? Because if you're not able to communicate risk, you will not be able to manage and mitigate it because people, management will not take what you're saying seriously. So anybody can identify a vulnerability. It is convincing the business to fix it and explaining why it matters in terms they understand is another skill entirely. This one, Many, many people have this one. Very few people have. You know why? Because they do not focus on it. They focus on getting the next cert. They do not focus on investing in learning how to write better emails, learning how to communicate, learning how to communicate to management, to their peers, to their subordinates. And if you do this, this will take you very, very far in cybersecurity. Okay. And number five, and th this will come with experience. And, you know, people think that life is like... Uh, a cyber security job is like a CISSP cert, how the CISSP cert says. But unfortunately, I had to tell you this, the vast majority of problems in cyber security, a lot of times they are people problems, not tech problems. They people focus on the tech, you know, like firewalls, SIEM, uh, zero trust. But most breaches almost always happen because people are not taking them seriously or they're not giving them attention or human error, right? And of course, politics. So culture will beat any corporate like a uh, security control. So unless this goes back to the same problem, like I said, that if you cannot communicate and if you cannot read the room, believe me, you will always have problems. And you know, people say that AI is gonna replace everything. AI will never learn how to read a room, to read between the lines and to communicate things in a way that the person in front can understand. This is something which a human thing, right? So you need to understand how to communicate better and Understand that a lot of problems in cybersecurity almost always comes down to the people, to the culture, and that culture will override any cybersecurity control that you put in place. And that brings me to the next issue also, which is documentation is a security control, you know. And a lot of people look at documentation as this boring thing. They would much rather be scanning or doing risk assessments or cloud security. But believe me, documentation is one of the biggest security controls you can focus on. A clear documentation that you have, it'll help people to ramp up very quickly when they join the team. It will speed up incident response because you know what to do. It will make sure that the clarity is there. Mistakes are avoided. So docu think of documentation as a security control. Do not think of it as something you do when the auditor comes and then you throw it away when the auditor goes away. You do not need to create a 500 page document, some, a simple page in Confluence. And if provided that you have updated it properly and it's aligned with the actual reality, of your environment, this will be considerably more powerful. So please, these are the things I really feel that people sometimes miss out on. And I hope you understand the importance of this, which is certifications uh, are like do not replace hands-on experience. Your years of experience is not equal to the years of impact that you have. You can have an impact in six months as opposed to six years. Chasing job titles, it will make you miserable in the long run. Do not do this. Learning how to communicate, it will like trump any other tool that you have. Most problems that are there in cybersecurity, a lot of times they're because of people, not technology. 
and documentation itself is a security control. So these are the things I really want you to think about. And I've summarized it here also. Believe me when I say that master these, you will be go very, very far in cybersecurity. It does not matter what AI comes, what JNAI comes, what quantum computing, vibe coding, whatever the trend is, you will go very, very far in cybersecurity if you focus on these things and you do not forget about them. So I hope this was useful to you and uh, you got some value out of this based on what I've learned throughout my years within the industry. If you like this, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.